Padme fans rejoice. This is the trilogy you need to read if you ever thought to yourself Padme deserved more. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Star Wars content. From a besieged queen, to a titan in the senate, to a secret wife yearning for the affection of her partner, Padme has always been a polarizing figure, especially when we think about how much her role changed from movie to movie. Now that Queen's Hope by E.K. Johnson has arrived, we finally have a broader picture of what life was like for Padme to bury Amidala. E.K. Johnson knocks it out of the park with Queen's Hope, closing out a trilogy that has been long in the making and long overdue for fans of Padme. From her days preparing to take the throne on Naboo, to her battles in the Senate, to dealing with galactic affairs in her downtime while planning her secret marriage, Queen's Hope brings us a nuanced approach to storytelling and a masterclass in character work. In Queen's Shadow, we learn what it takes for Padme to transition from governance to galactic senate as she deals with the political arena and the hardships of maneuvering with allies as well as opponents. In Queen's Peril, Padme is preparing to take the throne of Naboo, introducing her to her handmaidens, their training, and their role in Padme's life that would forever change who she is and who they are as individuals. And now to Queen's Hope. It's a time for celebration. Padme is about to get married to Anakin Skywalker in secret, but it's not going to be smooth sailing. The political battles continue to mar Padme with adversaries on the Senate floor and off. We get a glimpse into the lives her handmaidens have gone on to lead away from Padme's service, but still very much loyal to her. And it's within these relationships that we get some amazing social dynamics and compelling character development. It's no easy feat to bring a character who has largely gone unnoticed for me in terms of favorite characters in Star Wars and propel them straight to my top five. Sabe proves to be the most important figure in Padme's life, and it's this relationship between the two that shines brightly like a star amidst obscuring nebulas. And if you haven't read the Darth Vader 2020 comic run, I highly urge you to do so. Queen's Hope successfully rounds out the trilogy by giving us an amazing look into Padme's life leading up to Revenge of the Sith. Her political battles with Palpatine that inadvertently stems the tide of Darth Sidious, her relationship relationship with her handmaidens, both old and new, and how her passionate love with Anakin Skywalker both changed her for the better and worse. And there is also a small little easter egg involving Anakin Skywalker that recontextualizes a certain scene from Attack of the Clones. And thanks to some enterprising sleuths on the internet and E.K. Johnson herself, we now know that Baby Shark is Star Wars canon at least the melody. This book is just chock full of raw emotion. And thanks to a good friend of the channel, Miss Eggy, go follow her on TikTok. It gives us a compelling look into actual friendship between women, an insight that I could never relate to, and now see in its narrative splendor after it was explained to me. The Queen's trilogy of books, and in particular Queen's Hope, gives us the broad strokes we've all been wanting for Padme's character, and makes you appreciate her that much more. And if you're a fan of the prequel trilogy and Padme from the movies, this is essential reading for you. But that'll do it for my review of the Queen's trilogy and and in particular, Queen's Hope by E.K. Johnson. If you enjoyed this review, please hit the like button and subscribe for more Star Wars content. Hit the bell icon so you know when I post new videos. I stream games Mondays and Tuesdays, and we have Diet in the Force every Saturday at 5 p.m. Pacific. But that's the end. On to the next one. For Light and Life, we are all the Republic, and may the Force be with you.